This is the seventh part of my series on the house heater. As you can tell, I've been at it for a while. Months. A few segments ago was when I was able to pull out the thermocouple assembly from where it had been hiding in the undersurface of the heater. I was excited about that. I thought if I could just get it all the way disconnected from the heater entirely, then I might be able to go online and find a replacement to order, then put it in myself. But unfortunately, I was not able to get it all the way off. On the other hand, I was able to address the other problem of having an open leaking radiator system. With Henry's help and tools, making choice cuts and plugging. I've done as much as I can do regarding this matter. When I began this video diary, I admitted to knowing almost nothing about anything. It has, in fact, turned into the learning experience I expected. But even I know when it is time to call in a professional, such as it's time for someone larger than myself to step in and finish the house heater job. Because it's not simply getting the house heater running again. I still have three radiators throughout the house connected to the heater. They could have air in them, for all I know. They will have to be bled correctly. I mean, what good is having an operational house heater if the radiators are not getting hot the way they should? So while I have a professional servicing the heater, it makes sense that he surfaced the radiators as well. Just as with everything else, I will keep my viewing audience informed as to when that occurs.